right, everybody, welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for once again tuning in. As you can see, we have our blue Evo behind us. Today, we are doing a blow-off valve install in the Evo, okay? Whether you have a stock setup or aftermarket, uh, we're gonna show you how to change it out today, what you need, what PSI spring you need. We're also gonna do some side-by-side -side comparison to the stock blow-off valves to the new one that we have. We do have the Tile QR blow-off valve today, okay? This is a plug-and-play with an adapter. I'll show you in one second. Again, we're gonna talk about the PSI you'll have to get in the spring so you don't have any issues, okay? Obviously, not gonna go on this car. The ETS kit, top mount turbo kit is on this car, which means that you can use the recirculating one on there. We have the blue one you guys maybe saw in that past video. On my white one over here, obviously you guys know I have the Sidewinder custom turbo manifold on there and I have a tile Q blow off valve on the lower piping. But today we have our Rally Red homie back over here, hence the red one we have. And we're gonna be plug and play this thing. All right, this car is super stock. Uh, so it's gonna be a really good comparison. He has just an intake on there and a stock blow off valve. So we're gonna do an external mic to hear the stock blow off valve sound uh, a couple times and then we'll change this one out to this one and we'll see exactly what this thing does. All right, so quick pre-warning before we get into this video. If you guys have a completely stock car, meaning that you have a stock air intake box, a closed box system, you are not gonna hear this blow off valve. Right now, you probably barely hear your turbo. Definitely not your blow off valve. Actually, the first thing I did on my white one way back in the day was put this exact setup on my car and I had the stock intake boxing and you couldn't hear anything until you do an open filter, which makes sense. Then an open filter, that box is trapping all the noise. The open filter, obviously, is to the atmosphere, okay? So that's gonna make an enormous difference. If you guys don't wanna spend $300, you can follow this video, which did a uh, modified version of an intake really cheap. This is the one you're gonna see today, actually, on this red car, so you can follow that to get this exact same effect if you want. But just wanna put that warning out there before you spend 260 bucks on this thing and you get home and you're like, this thing doesn't even make any noise because it's a stock air intake box. So uh, learn from the lesson and that's what's up. All right, guys, go with the product. Before we get some uh, stock blow off valve sounds, for starters, we do have the Tile QR blow off valve, the recirculating blow off valve. It does come with a flange looking just like this. You can weld on a stock piping to connect it. We are not using that today because Torch Solutions, luckily for the Evo 10 specific, makes this really cool adapter to hook up the stock piping or aftermarket piping. Usually I'm not showing it here, but you have a little O-ring that goes in that little groove. It also matches up into that groove. You connect it with this little clamp. You make sure it's just in the valley there really good all the way around before you clamp it down. You connect your new vacuum line or your new little vacuum connection here. You screw it on the top right there and then use your old line connected to the new one. Super self-explanatory. I'll obviously show that in one second. Uh, besides that being the product and that being the adapter, all the links are in the bottom like I always like to do. Um, you also need a certain PSI spring, okay? This is going to be an 11 PSI spring. You can get away with 10 as well. I've done that before when there was an 11 PSI option for some reason on a specific website. We actually did the 10 on the blue one. But I'm using an 11 on my Tile Q, 11 on this Tile QR, and my old black Tile QR is an 11 as well. No problems, no fluttering, no issues, no pressure problems. That's actually why you wanna do it because if you don't use the correct spring, you can actually have issues. But uh, that is it guys, let's go ahead and rig ourselves up and let's get some pulls in this thing. All right guys, so this is a stock blow file sound you're about to hear in a second. I'm gonna do some light pulls, medium pulls, and hard pulls to get all different sounds. I do have an external mic near the intake. Again, this is an open filter intake, so you're gonna be able to hear the blow valve even stock some, and probably better than even in the cabin with that external microphone, okay? So we're gonna get a real good comparison to what the stock one sounds like, and then afterwards we'll install the QR, and then we'll go ahead and do another drive with that to see if it's a substantial difference with sound, or if it's just a little bit, or what it is. So uh, let's go ahead and get it. and product preparation before getting the engine base. So this is the blow off valve, these are the adapters, this is the actual gasket I was talking about earlier you're gonna need to put in. Before putting on this top here, you're gonna wanna flip this upside down and you're gonna put it just like this. You'll take your little gasket and put it just in that little groove. Just like the Torx Solutions has, it has that little lip there. It should match up absolutely perfect to it just like that. Now with it being upside down and in place, you're gonna take your clamp, as you can see, I disassembled it by just unscrewing that Allen key and just sliding out the little locks that it had. Really nice and simple. And then you're gonna push this over here like this. And then while you're pushing down, as you can see like this, I'm gonna be my thumbs under are gonna be opening it like that. 
So I'm gonna be pushing down with this finger and you're not gonna be able to see it. And I'm gonna be opening up the sides, getting it over both of those in the little valley. And after it's there, I'll be able to replace this little bolt and uh, little nut things and I'll be able to tighten it down. And there it is guys, as you can see, that was nice and simple. Just a little pressure, opening it up, getting it over the grooves and it is perfectly in line. So now I can go ahead and replace my pieces here. Hey guys, if you did take it out, remember that this one side is nice and smooth and goes through and this other side actually has uh, threads. So don't do opposite because then you'll be confused. Go ahead and get your Allen key behind it as you're giving a little squeeze just to get it in the first grooves and then you should be able to crank it down the rest of the way. All right, perfect. And give it some more cranks. And remember, this is all aluminum, so you wanna make, make sure it's super tight, but don't go absolutely ballistic on the stuff. There, quarter turn, we're good. So this is the actual vacuum, okay? So you're just gonna slide this piece off like this. It has two washers up top. You're gonna keep one washer up top on there. You're gonna slide this portion back through and then put one of those washers on the bottom. Then you can go ahead and just put this in hand tight through the top. All right, so I will keep this thing hand tight for now. This does take a 10 on top, which I can crank down in a second. This is all aluminum, so when I do crank it down, I'm only gonna go all the way down and give a little quarter turn of about 10 pounds of pressure like, because again, it's aluminum. You don't need to over crank it, but you know how to make sure it's tight enough, okay? I'm gonna keep it just hand tight because when I get in the car, I'm not sure if I want it facing this way or if I'm gonna want it facing the other way or what it is. So before I tighten it, that's my suggestion so you can run it, the uh, vacuum line the cleanest. All right guys, so now your blow valve is all prepared with a torque solutions adapter on the bottom. Your gasket's in there, everything's clamped down. This is hand tight until we position it where we want to. Inside the engine bay, super easy to take out the stock blow valve. You'll only need to remove this 10 millimeter here, 10 millimeter here. Both those are Phillips on the top, just in case. And then you just need some needle nose pliers to take off this little vacuum hose. That'll pop off right there, okay? Real nice and simple. I am replacing this vacuum hose, which is nine years old, with some new fresh silicone uh, hosing. You do not need to change that out to that. If you have any type of uh, wear to this, this is a nine year old hose. So if you have any type of wear to it, definitely change it out, but it's not 100% necessary. But that is what I'm gonna do today. So I already went ahead and loosened these up. You'll be able to pull your 10 out right off of the blow off valve there. And then I have the bottom portion. And I'll be able to slide that out just like that. Whoa, dude, and that is it, man. Look at the size difference between this new Tile QR and the stock original one. This should hold a higher PSI when we do get this car tuned very soon. Uh, plus, hopefully get some more cool sounds out of it. It came out just like it went in, guys. You're just gonna grab the bottom and put that portion in just like this. Like I said, that adapter is made specific for this. Make sure it's on nice and even. In a second, I'll clamp that down, and then we'll go ahead and shove this portion back in there. Do the same thing, clamp that down in a second. And then again, I'm gonna go ahead and pull off this vacuum hose and replace this with some new silicone hosing. All right, all right. So that is it, man. Two 10 millimeters, one there, one there, all clamped down, nice and simple. Now we'll be changing on the vacuum hose. As I said, I already have it actually connected and ran back the silicone one. I have it running all the way down here and I'll connect over here in a second, but I wanna show you, I'm actually slowly getting rid of all these metal lines. There's some fuel lines in there, some vacuum lines. This is one of the vacuum lines we can take the opportunity today to get rid of the hard line. There's just no need for it. This is the original vacuum line, hard line all the way through here, all the way through here, and then it comes off right here. Okay, when it comes off, typically I had this branched off in there with this little T because this is my boost gauge uh, vacuum hose. Okay, so I had the boost gauge vacuum hose teed off so I can get an actual reading. I'm actually just gonna disconnect it from there. Now we're never gonna use that metal line again. Eventually, like I said, getting rid of the whole cluster and really cleaning things up. This is my new silicone hose. I'll go ahead and put that T on there, clamp that down, and we are done with this project. We'll just drive it around and get some sounds. All right, back in the car to go ahead and get our sounds for the Tile QR blow valve in comparison. Uh, the external mic is hooked up in the same spot, so we should get some really good sounds and we can compare that side to side. Also, if you guys didn't notice earlier, we were running a weird boost number where we get up to boost and lose some. Uh, there was definitely a boost leak or something going on. I checked everything and I found the problem was actually a cracked vacuum hose. It was really badly cracked and it needed to get changed out. So I changed that out. We should be good. This is a test drive on that slash all the sounds. So let's go ahead and get it.
whoa, 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 what a difference, guys. That made a substantial difference from the original stock blow valve that barely made a swish. This thing is clear, loud, and apparent all day, every day. Makes all different types of cool sounds depending on what kind of throttle you give it. It's gonna be better for actually when we go full bolt-ons in the car anyways and get it retuned for holding that PSI a little better and it sounds freaking awesome, all right? We are going to get this car flex fuel tuned by Chris Carby very soon. As you guys can notice, we've been doing a bunch of things on this car. Uh, ETS titanium exhaust has been ordered for over two months. As soon as that comes in, you'll see that thing get installed in here, a bunch of revving and driving and all that. So you can see if you guys like that style of exhaust too. We did the ETS Extreme on the blue one and it's extreme. So I'm really curious if you see what this titanium one sounds like in person. But stay tuned for that. Flex fuel kit getting installed next on this red car specific. Uh, yes, dude, flex fuel kit. Driven Fab and WTF have been pretty much extinct from making these kits, at least from what everyone's talking about and seeing for the last over a year, no one's been able to get these. I have the Driven Fab on my white Evo. I have the uh, WTF on the blue Evo, and this one's getting the brand new kit that just came out. I will put a link in the bottom if you guys wanna buy this uh, product, and that way you guys can install the Flex Fuel kit and get your car Flex Fuel tuned. Lots of people have been holding back or not being able to do this because of the lack of product out there. There's a new one out there. We're gonna show you how to put it in. I hope you guys are pumped about that, pumped about the titanium exhaust. This is an easy plug-in, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed all these videos, this video, the next video. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next.